Honestly, I don't know what shades to do because they're so freaking pretty. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are brand new, welcome to my channel for the first time ever. I hope you enjoy yourself while you're here. Uh, today's video, I'm creating a look and kind of reviewing the Nudie Patootie palette by Laura Lee. Um, I'm super excited about this because I just did the swatches to show you guys and just kind of working with this palette for starters was like really awesome. Like they're very buttery and stuff. So let's see how they apply. We're gonna create a look with all of these today. Not all of them, that would be insane. Um, unfortunately, we have to narrow it down, which is hard because these are all really, really pretty and striking. So let's start off with the packaging. I got this sent to me in a PR package from Laura herself. Um, so thank you for that. Uh, it comes in this box here which is super cute. I like the, uh, it's like the metallic like spot printing or whatever right here, UV spot. Listen to me trying to sound like I know like printing terms, I totally don't. Anyways, pretty cool box. Oh, this is the spot printing, UV spot printing right here. <laughs> and it came with this little guy right here. So you get 14 shades in this palette for $45. Her last palette was $40 and you got 10 shades. So you're getting four more shades um, shoved in here for only $5 more, which is pretty sweet. The palette is large, but it is pretty light and pretty thin. So I feel like it would still be quite easy to travel with. This is definitely not one that you're gonna throw in your purse and use like at the end of work or whatever, you know, to like glam up your daytime makeup look. Um, so you get a really nice mixture of these matte, I almost wanna say like matte satin because they're so buttery feeling, but it's really not a matte satin, it's, it's a matte. And then these are almost like a, a um, these, I think it's like these two are kind of like almost like a glittery kind of interesting, sub, like they feel kind of wet. Um, and she suggests putting these on with glitter glue or using a damp brush. That's what it says on here. And I totally feel that like when you're putting it on, um, if you don't use that, it can kind of um, fly away on you a little bit. So it's gonna be this one, this one, and this one that you're gonna wanna use like um, glitter glue with. The names are fun. They're kind of like sexual. We've got naked, naked, bare, strip, buff, butt naked, uncover, streaking, jaybird. What's a jaybird? I feel like that doesn't fit into this theme. I'm gonna have to Google that on like the um, the uh, Urban Dictionary and see what I'm missing out on because I totally don't know what that is. Does anyone else know? Topless, reveal, au naturel, um, undressed, stark, and exposed. So they're all about naked, nudity, all that. So I really like the shades that she put together here because it's a little bit like as, as much as it is a neutral palette, you definitely have some stuff in here to like really put like put some pizzazz into your look, like especially this guy, this one, um, these are really pretty too. So those can really like knock the look out of the park if you wanna kinda go a little crazier with it, but then you've also got your safe neutrals that you can build up a really nice like smoky eye or really, really natural look with. So I, I, like, I like the arrangement of colors, like it was really well thought out. Like you've got some interesting tones that can be um, used playfully, but you still have just your general basics that have like almost a little twist on them, you know? Cause this is almost has like a little bit of a like, kind of like a greenish undertone in person, like a little yellowy. And I love this like nice mustard, bear is really nice. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with this because there's a lot of, at first I was like, oh, I'm just gonna kind of go in probably with, you know, butt naked, topless and bear. But then I swatched Jaybird and I was like, oh my goodness, I missed one or two of them because I didn't have enough room on my arm. <laughs> so we'll just have to see how they play on the actual eye. Now, I believe there are, t are some lipsticks coming out with it that we're gonna be coming out with this palette too, but they're coming out in April now. So that'll be fun. You get a little surprise in, in April. So um, let's just jump right into this and create a look. Seriously, stop staring at my eyebrows because I know y'all are like, what happened to those? <laughs> There's a video on my channel about what's going on with my eyebrows. If you missed it, you should probably go watch it so you're not in the dark. We got a little crazy. Things happened. Mistakes were made. <laughs> so you know it was a good time. I'm gonna use this Royal and Langnickel crease brush right here. And I am gonna go in with Bare. Oh yes, there we go. It's this really nice 
pinkish, muted pink. And I'm just going to, oh my goodness, I was not ready for that, folks. Wow, that is seriously pigmented. Really pretty, it's like a peachy pink. It's really, really pretty. It matches my hair pretty well too. So I'm just gonna kind of use this as my transition shade. Well, I thought I was, and then it was like, whoa, pigment. This is blending out really, really nicely as well. It's just like silky and smooth and blending out like super seamlessly and easy. Like it's like not hard to get a nice gradient. I'm gonna take this and wing it out just a little bit, not too much. I guess I don't mean wing it out, I mean smoke it out. Now I'm taking a little bit smaller of a brush. This is a Luxie tapered blending brush and I'm gonna go in with butt naked. I'm gonna use this kind of to darken up the outer edge of the eye, and just the crease. So I'm using that to place, and I'm going back to our other brush and blending out. These blend really nice. Now we're gonna take um, a bit of uh, glitter glue. This is just a random glitter glue. And then we've got Jaybird right here that we're gonna place over top of it. So I'm just gonna take some of this glitter glue and put it on my hand and then pick my nose. I'm gonna take this Morphe brush and I'm just gonna load some of the glitter glue on there, like not gobs of it, but so that it's going to deposit some of the glitter glue and I'm depositing most of like the glitter glue towards the lash line. So that's where most of it's gonna go. And then I'm gonna stipple towards the center. Ow, something is poking me on this brush. Ow! And then I like to stipple it towards the inner corner and towards the crease so there's a little bit less product so you don't have such a harsh drop off of pigment. Now I'm gonna wipe off the glitter glue off the brush and then just use the same exact brush and kind of load a bit of that on there. Oh, wow. Oh, just take my money. That's so pretty, holy crap. Not much fallout either. I was expecting a lot more than that based on the kind of shadow shimmer that it is, but I think the glitter glue helped and um, just doesn't have a whole lot of fallout. Pretty sweet. I'm gonna do my brows and my base off camera and we'll be right back. Okay, and we're back. Let's go ahead and move on to a little bit of highlight. Everything that I have on right now, as far as my base, my blush, my contour, my foundation, my brows, it's all linked in the description box right down here. So if you're curious about something that I have on, it is there for you. I got you. It's all there. Okay, so for highlight, I'm gonna be using this uh, Moda Pro, what is this? Moda Pro Flat Powder Brush. And I'm gonna be using the Kristen Leanne Urban Decay Highlight Palette for this. I'm kind of gonna like swirl them all together, but mostly stick to the lighter one in the center. And I'm just gonna pop that right on. I honestly need to take a shower. I haven't taken a shower. We took like a four mile walk this morning and then I didn't shower because I just wanted to get straight into filming. And now I feel like I have to wait till tonight, but I kind of stink. Good thing you guys can't smell me through the screen. I kind of went with like a really light contour and like blush today, just cause I wanted the eye look to really grab all of the attention. <sighs> Beer break. Back to Nudie Patootie, I'm gonna be taking the Zoeva Soft Definer Brush and I'm gonna go back in with Bare right here and just take this and place it on the lower lash line. I didn't mention this, but this packaging um, is really awesome. And it also comes with like a mirror. So you get a giant freaking mirror that isn't a fun house mirror you can actually use to help you create your look. And it's nice to do with your eyebrows because you can see them both at once as opposed to like the tiny little compacts where you're like one brow and then the other and you can't see both at the same time. That always drives me crazy. Using the same brush, I'm gonna be going in with Stark right here and loading that up on the end of the brush. And I'm just going to place that right on my brow bone. Oh wow, that's pretty. Depending on how um, uh, your skin tone, you can actually wear that as a highlight if you're pretty fair skinned or use it as the center if you are if you have darker skin. I'm liking this look without the lower lash line being like too defined or else I'd go in with another shade. I'd probably go in with like, 
um, nakey nakey right here and work that into the lower outer lash line if I wanted to define that a little bit more, but I don't think that I do. I think I'm pretty good. So I'm just going to put, um, some mascara on and lashes and, uh, we'll be on our merry way. We're almost done. So I put on Lily lashes, uh, bandless lashes in faux mink Olivia. So that's what I have on. And I'm going to take the Tarte Cosmetics fake awake liner and I'm just going to place this on the waterline for a more bright, natural, very awake look. Do I look awake yet? For lips, I'm gonna be using the, um, it's my Ray Ray collaboration liquid lipstick with BH Cosmetics. This is just a really pretty like, nice pink that will match our look really well. And the name is Rosie Ray. Oh shoot, this is a lip gloss. Okay, this is a brand new product that I've actually never used before. This is called Lip Land, um, or no, sorry, Alina Liquid Lipstick in Doll Face. So the packaging looks like this. Smells like cream cheese frosting. It's like a mini review within a review. It's pretty nice. It's really making me want some cupcakes though. That is a really pretty shade. I like that. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with the lip gloss. It's a really pretty shade too. These go really well together. This lip gloss isn't like goopy, which is nice, you know? It kind of even feels like a liquid lipstick. Last but not least, I'm gonna set my face with the Smashbox and Nicole Concilio Centering Citrus Primer Water. This, come, this comes in like a few different scents. It smells so freaking good. Woo, we made it. Okay, I went upstairs, I fixed my hair, did a little something something with it so it didn't look so ridiculous. My eyelash is kind of coming off in the corner but hopefully it'll stay down for this outro. Um, so final thoughts. I am really impressed with this palette. I mean, Laura Lee is amazing at makeup and so I really wouldn't expect anything less from her, but I was actually, it's like even better than I thought it was gonna be. So that means it's freaking awesome. Like the way the shades that I chose blended out and like all of them feel so, so silky and nice. It's just like nice when it's like great quality eyeshadow because it helps, it does like half the job for you. You don't have to work so hard at blending and layering and working on your gradient so much. Like this really like blends out super, super nicely. So I have to say, I really am impressed with this palette. Hats off, very nice job. I really am excited to kind of get into these other shades that I didn't get a chance to use, like this mustard. You guys know I love mustard shades for the eyes. So really excited about that. Excited to create some like kind of darker, sultry looks with this. It's just an all over like really well-rounded palette that you can use um, so many different ways. I think there's only one shade in here that I can't really see myself using, and it's this guy right here. I just don't really use that shade. Maybe it's because of my skin tone. Like I could see that this looking really beautiful on someone that's a little bit more tan, but for me, I feel like these kind of shades wash me out a little bit. So personally, that's the only shade that I probably wouldn't use, but you could still use that for your brow bone. It just has a slight bit of like a gray taupe to it that I'm, doesn't really attract me, but everything else is, so beautiful and the pan size is nice. Um, so I really like this palette. I think it's a great buy and I'm definitely gonna be keeping this um, up here to do my makeup because I feel like I'm gonna be grabbing for it a lot and there's a lot more looks to be done with it. So I'll let you guys decide for yourself, but at least I got to show you guys how it looks um, and a little look with it if you already did grab it. So let me know in the comments below what you think about Nudie Patootie. Is it one that you would grab? Do you gravitate towards it? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching guys. Go ahead and watch the next video that is on the screen right now since you're already here. And please don't forget to subscribe if you have not already and you are new and we will see you in the next video. Bye guys. No, I just did these like amazing swatches on my arm. Ugh. And I have to take them off now and I don't want to. Ah, my soul. That was so pretty. I did not want to remove that. I had to do it on camera with you guys. Thanks for getting me through that.